We are back with our series on the money, and it's never too early to start thinking about summer and planning out how to pay for everything from <laughs> camps uh. to pool supplies to cookouts. It can be expensive. So we have NBC News senior business analyst Stephanie Rule. She's going to help us have some fun without breaking the bank. Good morning to you. First piece of advice. Yes, let's do it. Ask around your neighborhood. Okay. See who has a swimming pool and make friends with I them. I know that. Right? That's <laughs> I know. Move, right? I know. Al Roker, a neighbor of mine, you know he loves to barbecue. Hey, Al. <laughs> Get yourself invited to I'm bringing barbecue. the napkins. What there you, you go. That's my number one. Yes. So this is important, making a budget. Because otherwise, next thing you know, there's this camp, then that camp, and then this pool thing. and you, you know All I mean? of it, right? And I know everybody wants to have this carefree summer. It will not be carefree if you spend, spend, spend. It's September, and you're like, oh, my gosh, right. I'm in bad shape. Make a budget. Just understand what you're looking at. Next. Look for free fun. It exists. Go to your local library. Even go to your town hall during the summer. Lots of towns have free concerts, free theater, just it's events true. around your town, your city. I mean, in New York City, go on the Hudson River. Tons of free events. Take advantage of I that. Think you're Next. Right. This is a good one. Okay. Try to look at your summer, especially if your kids have off yeah. and if you have a flexible schedule. Treat your home like a camp, right? You want to go to the movies? Matinees, mm -hmm. often 50% off if possible. Go see a movie during the day and plan for your staycation. Mm. Rather than do it all in one day, think about your favorite things from summer camp. Okay. Maybe you do a camp out, right? Bring all the blankets to your living room. You do that on a Monday. On a Tuesday, make s'mores in the kitchen. On a Wednesday, go for the friendship bracelet. And you know what? Spread Those are out. things that the kids actually will remember. Mm -hmm. Yes, or but even, don't you know. just do it all in one day on Monday and then Tuesday. It's like, I guess we're on our devices. I agree. <laughs> and this is for people even without children. Let's say you're planning a, a trip for, for the family. What would you say? Okay, we got to figure out where are we going to save. Yeah. Just because you're going on a trip doesn't mean it needs to be far. Driving, if you can help it, is a great way to save rather than flying. We all talk about how expensive mm -hmm. airline tickets are. Try to go somewhere closer. Next, find another family going on a similar trip. Share a home. I know more people who are doing this. You have to like that family I because know. if you don't, by the end of the trip, that trip will be a nightmare. But yes. it's a great way to save. And always, if you are flying, mm -hmm. go to the points guy. Go to Hopper. Check Google Flights. Make sure you're getting the cheapest flight possible. And now this one is for my family. Mm. <laughs> Minimize your meal spending. I don't understand why my children go on vacation with me. And as soon as they wake up, where are we going for breakfast? Where are we going for lunch? I don't know. It's called a cereal bar. It never How come ends. at home, Free buffet. Free I can buffet. never get you to drink a glass of orange juice, yet we're on vacation, <laughs> yes. and they want a $5 glass of OJ. Oh, That's a no. That is a no for you. Oh, you do not on. need to go to a restaurant. Most hotel rooms have a mini fridge. How about a yogurt? There you go. <laughs> there you go. How I about thought I had the wall side of no, the story. No, no, no. I, I can't. My kids, where are we going for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Yeah. How about nowhere? The we're on vacation. Where's the orange juice that they're going to take a sip of? Um, okay, so you talked about the budget, but you have to work in an emergency fund. Absolutely. Think about your summer. Tons of times people's air conditioning go out. You know you could have a plumbing issue. There are no discount plumbers. Mm -hmm. I always want you to have three to six months of an emergency fund. Try to put it aside. The summer, sadly, is when my sons always fall off a bike, fall off a, 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 a swing set. You might have to go to a doctor visit. I don't want you to be in debt over that. You just need to save up for your expected costs. If First. you know the summer's coming mm. and you've got summer camps, you've got weddings to go to, try to put that money aside. I like to separate it out in my paycheck. Mm -hmm. So over as the months come and the summer comes, hey, I've already put this money aside. Here we go. We're going to have a great time going into this wedding, and maybe I can get a new dress going into it. Don't wait until the last minute. Right. Try to save up. You don't have to stress Good. that out. Yeah. This is a public service announcement for Stephanie's children. I support your orange juice habits. <laughs> it's okay. At home, nobody wants OJ in a restaurant. You got fresh squeeze? So no, absolutely not. It's okay with me. Uh, cash when or, he's paying. Ca ca cash or credit when Ooh. I'm buying your kids orange juice this summer? Okay, it totally depends on how you spend. If you use your credit card like a debit card, you know you pay it in full at the end of the month, use those credit cards, mm -hmm. right? Because you're going to get points. That's going to help you in the end. If you don't, well, then I don't want you to do that. Right. I also want you to look out for fees. If you're planning an international trip, uh, right, and you use your credit card, fees. those transaction fees. Also, you look at your bill and you're like, what's this transaction fee? It's often 3%. Look for a credit card that doesn't have them. And the last, 
This is my favorite envelope method. What does that mean? Put cash in an yes, envelope. And I've in been that doing envelope. This. Th I love it. You know I love a cash diet. Put that cash mm -hmm. there where you say, this is my beer fund, right? This is my bathing suit fund. It's also my beer fund. There you and go. Then that's all, <laughs> and then you only spend it if Correct. you have it in the envelope. And then when you got none left, guess what? Nobody's no coming over for a kegger yeah. tonight. Uh, Sorry. Stephanie, this or is orange good, juice. Good tips. Thank you, as always. We're all having orange juice, everybody. Fact, Don't worry about it. And look for a friend with a pool. I love that. For more Can tips, I come over? Anytime. Go to today.com slash on the money. Thanks, Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.